Okay, so I'm doing a quick update for the Pi Network. A lot of subscribers on this channel are in the Pi Network. And what I want to do is just talk about the new software that they released. And I'll also go through the installation because I'm going to actually do that today myself. They had a desktop application called the Pi Node that you would need to install on your Windows desktop to run your Pi Node. With the latest release, it comes with a new name. It's now called Pi Desktop. It's something that you can download on your Windows PC. And you're going to have access to other features, including the Pi Studio, which is going to allow you to create apps for the network. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over to the website. We'll download it and install it. So I just opened up a browser over here and I'm going to go over to the website. The website that you want to go to is mindpi.com slash pi dash blockchain slash pi dash node. Uh, I'll make sure I link that down in the description below. It's a long URL to remember. You got the Mac and the Windows. We're going to install the Windows version. And I'll just download this onto my desktop. Okay, that's complete. So you can see that we have it over here on the desktop. I'll just double click and open up the application here. And it's going to install. We have another icon over here on the desktop now. This is the shortcut for the application. So if you're confused when you see two things over here, this is the downloaded software, which we can delete now that we have it installed. And this is the Pi Network app that is now installed on our computer. Uh, okay, so it looked like it automatically logged me in because I already had a version of this installed. Now, if you don't have this already installed, I'm just gonna quickly show you what it's gonna look like. So the desktop app will look like this with the login screen. And what you're gonna do is just click on the login option over here. And you wanna get your code. Now the code is gonna be found in the mobile app, which you see over here, you go into the menu, inside the menu, you tap on node, and this is where you're gonna get a sign in code. What you do from there is you enter in the code into your desktop ad and it'll automatically sign you in. And then you should get a screen that looks like this. Um, I know a lot of people have messaged me asking me to do my KYC. I've already done my KYC, it's been submitted, it's still pending. If you're in my group right now and you're trying to find out why it says I haven't KYC'd, I'm waiting for my application to get approved. Anyways, that's a side note. Um, so here we are right now at the Pi desktop. And uh, the main thing right now is access to the studio. So if you go over here into the menu and you go down to Pi Utilities, you can see all the Pi Utility options and you have the App Studio. So if you're a developer and you wanna create an app for the Pi network, you can go into the studio and you can go ahead and start working on your application. So they have an AI chat bot that's available, or you can do custom. Um, the game option isn't available, but if you click on create new app, from here you can go ahead and start going through the process of creating an app for the Pi Network. I'm just gonna back out a little bit over here. And if you haven't run a Pi node before, you have the option over here at the top. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, you can see that I'm not running the node on this computer. Uh, what I do have to do is go through that same process of setting it up. For setting up a node, what you basically want to do is you're going to click on visit this tech setup area. You're going to install Docker, and then you're going to open up some ports on your router. Now, I've created this video right over here that walks you through the entire process in detail. And I've also created another video for something called port forwarding. Port forwarding is important because your node needs to be able to communicate with the outside world. What I've done is I've created a separate video just for port forwarding. And I've also created a blog for port forwarding, trying to detail as many steps as possible because every modem and router has different steps that you need to follow. So I'll make sure I link both of those in the description below so you can check those out. Back over here at the Pi app, it's pretty much the same thing as your mobile app and you'll be able to access almost everything that you would in your phone. So that's a quick update on the Pi network software. This new release just came out earlier this week and I thought I'd make a video just to keep the community in the loop. If you're interested in me doing a live stream, let me know in the comments below because maybe I'll set that up. Um, I can try answering questions for some of the users that are having problems setting up their node. You can also find me on X. I'm regularly detailing and updating every project that I'm in, letting you know what's working, what's not working, what's profitable, and what I'm losing money on. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. Please smash the like button to help me grow. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.